Okay guys, so I'm at Jane's house. We're taking a look at a 100,000 BTU furnace, looking at replacing this, uh, evaporator coil, <clears throat> and she may get in just AC only, but we'll see about that. Uh, so from the top of the furnace to the bottom of this plot is actually 21 inches. Um, <clears throat> and then on the return, I was looking at just going from the floor to the slip and drive here. Looking at replacing that portion of it. This would be 10 by 25 down to the floor. I think it's like 54. Gives us some 54 and a half. It gives us some wiggle room. Five and a half or five and a quarter space here. And then our new um, filter will be installed here. New flue piping coming in and going right through the liner. Going in with the liner. Um, <clears throat> looks like she had expansion tank done. Or excuse me, uh, water heater done. I look like that's from us. She's been in the home for about a year and a half. Uh, she's got a newer humidifier. And then we also have a uh, breaker. It's a 40 amp Murray. Got a new forge right here, so this is no longer really needed either. So that can come off of there. Don't need the wet switch. And then she does have uh, her water line coming in to this humidifier. So I will double check to see uh where that's connected at see if we need to get into a better valve for that for her um got an open basement so that actually comes in lines that goes out that way so i see sitting over here uh where is that water line i think that'd be over by that water heater I missed something. Oh, yeah, I must have missed that. But she got a good valve on there for that. Come on over. Yeah, that's something there. I guess just lying over the coil. Yeah, okay. Liver door, so she's up the code. <clears throat> 